Hi there stamping friends. Here's our second make and take project for March 2017. To create this card you're going to need a card base of Soft Sky, a layer of with the shimmery white cardstock cut at four by five and a quarter and then a scrap of the shimmery white. The, I've used the bundle weather together. This is a stamp set and the coordinating die. The Love You Lots Hostess set and the gorgeous grunge stamp set. Okay. Get the card base ready. Then I've, on the layer of the shimmering white cardstock, I took the die, the cloud dies, and I cut them out, these two first, and then the next pass through, I cut this one out, and then the next pass through, I moved it over a little and cut it out again. You can see I overlapped it a little. That gives us room for the sentiment that we want to stamp in the middle. Okay, so we're going to start by inking up the elephant and the mouse in archival black. And I'm using that because I'm going to watercolor on this. Then I'm going to take the umbrella handle and ink that also in archival black. And I'm going to line up the bottom of that handle so that it sits right in that trunk, like so. Then I've cut, I've stamped and cut out the umbrella using the solid umbrella die. I stamped that in real red. I have a little bit of work I want to do to this umbrella. These two lines that come down like this, I'm going to take my stylus and just run it along that line on each side. I'm going to flip it over and where I can see where I've used my stylus on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and press that back down. And this will just give us some dimension on the umbrella when we go to adhere it to our card. I'll go ahead and prepare this by putting on a couple dimensionals only in that center section there. Okay. Then I'm going to take this umbrella and I want to line it up over the mouse and a little bit of the elephant. And then I'm going to ink the tip of the umbrella Kind of decide where I want it here. Move the umbrella out of the way and stamp it. I got a little smudge, but I'm going to keep going. Then I'm using from the watercolor pencils, I'm using the basic gray marker. And I'm just going to take the pencil and kind of in swirly strokes, I'm going to apply some of the colored pencil to the dark areas where the the lines are, where the artist has created where the dark part would be. This is super simple water and color water coloring. Add a little to the mouse. I read online that when you sharpen these pencils, these colored pencils, you should move the sharpener, not the pencil. I personally don't know what the benefit of that is, but obviously someone does and it's important. So I thought I'd share that. And this is the way I watercolor. I just take a clear block, add some water. I, my aqua painter is dry. There's no water in the barrel. And then I'm just gonna pick up that water and then I'm gonna start spreading that ink around. Mm 
and then I'll pull this darker ink back into the lighter places where I haven't had any of the colored pencil. Do a little mouse. Okay. I'm also going to do the handle of this umbrella and the tip. And you can go back in and add different, um, more layers of ink to make it darker, add shadows. If you want to do that, I'm going to take the real red marker, color the handle, and the little piece up here. Then, with the gray marker, I'm just, or I'm sorry, watercolor pencil. I'm just going to add a little shadow here under the elephant and the mouse. Then with the Wink of Stella, I'm going to apply just to the gray area on the umbrella handle and the little tip. I'm going to put some of that on there. Okay. Then with the stamp, I'm here for you. I'm going to take my basic black marker and I'm going to ink up, I'm here. I'm going to center this over the soft sky card base. And give that a little huff because it's been sitting. Oh, I'm going to stamp that off because I, yep, that's what I thought. I didn't have this clean. Okay, so I'm going to clean this. It's very important to make sure your stamp set, or your stamp is clean before you do this. Okay, let's start again. I'm going to use a marker and do the I'm here. And remember to use the side of your marker, not the tip. Okay, now let's center this again on this cardstock. Huff on it. Stamp I'm here. Then clean it again. Then I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to do the for you. And stamp that down. Then I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of this layer. I like to add a lot of dimensionals because I don't want that center caving in. You can use what you're comfortable with. Then I'm just going to take the liner off of the outside pieces. I don't necessarily need the sticky part in the middle. I just need that popped up. Okay. Bring this back in. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Well, let's see if we can do this. I'm going to bring in my craft mat. Set this on here. And then with the Soft Sky ink and the Gorgeous Grunge stamp, I'm going to set this umbrella over here because I don't want rain underneath the umbrella because it's dry underneath there. along the edge 
edge here. Let's bring this back in and see how this looks. Just a little bit darker right there. Okay. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and set the umbrella on top of the card base too. Let's see if I can line that up. There we go. Take this off my. I guess this was a happy mistake because you can see that it really doesn't stick to the. That's the beauty of that silicone craft sheet. And the stickiness still is on my dimensionals. And I have a kitty in an ink pad. Okay. There you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.